Hello and welcome to this video about how to have a successful Sober October. Now whether you are taking part in Sober October to raise money for charity or if you just want to do it for yourself and have some time away from alcohol, I'm going to explain how to make this month a wonderful alcohol free month that you will enjoy and that it will be a success for you. So before I begin with my top tips on how to have a successful Sober October, I just want to say that in order to really make this work for you, you need to come at it from a place of joy, love and positivity. Don't think of it as a month of abstaining or a month of missing out. You know, you can make it what you make it. So really think of it as a lovely, positive thing that you are doing for yourself to give yourself a much needed break from alcohol. You deserve to be kind to yourself, so do the kind thing and embrace this wonderful month of alcohol free living. So here are my top tips on how to have a successful sober October. The first tip is to be absolutely clear and firm in your decision that you are going to have this month away from alcohol, no matter what, and embrace the decision. Don't think of it as, you know, every day, will I, won't I? Be very clear from the start that this month you are not going to drink at all. And instead, you are going to find the ways, different ways to have fun, to relax, to nourish yourself. And always, always at the back of your mind, know that this decision is the best decision that you can do for yourself. My next tip is to be prepared, whatever that looks like for you. My advice is to think ahead and stock up on as many lovely alcohol-free drinks as you possibly can, whether they are direct alternatives, so alcohol-free beers, wines, that kind of thing, or just some really nice grown-up drinks that you know you will enjoy. Some people like to serve their alcohol-free drinks in a nice glass so it feels grown-up and special. So if that's what you want to do, then do it. Also think about possible triggers or situations that might come up that you might find a little bit tricky and plan ahead for those things. What can you do if a craving strikes? What can you do to stop yourself feeling bored? You know, planning and preparation are key in this journey. So do as much work as you can ahead of time and you will thank yourself for it as you move through the month. My next tip is to get outside as much as you possibly can. This is one of my pillars of sobriety, if you like. When I first quit drinking, I was outside all the time. And October is a wonderful month to do that. So go outside, wrap up warm, enjoy nature, enjoy walking, or just sit in in your garden, your terrace, your patio, whatever it is. Feel the fresh air and enjoy your time away from your normal drinking situations. My next tip is to move your body and that means exercise in the traditional sense. You know, exercise is a great way to be cravings. It's a great way to lift your mood instantly and also it will stop you feeling bored. It will stop you feeling like you're, you know, missing out on things. And when we do physical activity, it's a great way to help us relax afterwards. If the weather's rubbish and you can't get outside, then do some exercise at home or even just declutter your house, tidy up, get rid of things, you know, use this opportunity to get off the sofa and move your body as much as you can. My next tip is to have a willingness to try and experiment, try new things, go new places, see new people, switch up your routines especially your wine o'clock routine do something that you've always wanted to do but the drinking has always got in the way learn a new skill take up a new hobby you know try new techniques there's lots of 
hints and tips on my blog about different ways to relieve stress, to help emotions, to have fun. So be open and have a willingness to try. This brings me on to my next tip, which is to change your routine. So that could be your morning routine, your evening routine, and especially your wine o'clock routine. Think of something new to do at those times when you would normally drink and really have fun with this. It's an opportunity, as I said, to learn something new, to try something new, to get away from your usual room, situation, people, habits. And the more open you are to be willing to change the way you do things, the easier you will find this month. My next tip is probably the most important one, and that is to be kind to yourself. So often we think about the negatives all the time. You know, we put ourselves down, we say we're not good enough, we think we should be better. This is a month for you to really show yourself some self-love, make your self-care a priority, and just be kind and gentle with yourself. Say no to whatever you like, respect your boundaries and get lots of sleep, get lots of rest, indulge yourself in all of the lovely things that you would like to do but often you don't get round to doing because of the drinking or because of other constraints on your time. So you are your priority this month. Be kind to yourself. Another great tip is to get a journal and track your progress throughout the month. So okay, keep a note of your moods, your experiences, your feelings, your emotions, what goes well, what doesn't go so well, any struggles you might have, you know, what you've noticed in your skin, your fitness, your sleep, your energy, all of those things. Keep track of it daily and use the time when you're writing in your journal to celebrate every moment that you manage to get through without a drink. And my last tip is to join a support group. The wonderful thing about sobriety now is that there are so many groups available to you, whether that be local in your area or online. So have a search. Instagram's a great place full of really lovely sober supportive people. Facebook also. I have a Facebook group which is called Blissfully Sober. And I would love it if you would come and join us and share your progress during this month. We're all in this together to support each other, help each other and lift each other up. So do come and join us and we will be there to cheer you on. So that's it really. Um, 10 simple things that you can do to make sure you have a really wonderful, successful, sober October. Do let me know in the comments below how you found this video and if you have any ideas of your own that you'd like to share on how we can make this month an amazing alcohol free month. Do share and like this video if you found it useful and as I said earlier come and join the Blissfully Sober Facebook group and get even more hints, tips and support. So have a wonderful month everybody and I will see you soon.